So if you're having a problem getting a large video to be able to upload to Canvas, you may have to shrink that video down first. Uh, this is especially true on the iPad, but it also works on a Mac as well. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to use an app called iMovie. Um, it's the purple icon with a white star. If you don't have the app, you can get it for free in the Manager app and be able to install it. When I open the app, it's going to let me choose a new project. So you'll see a button at the bottom where I tell it to start a new project. And then it may give me a few different options. I want just a plain movie project. Uh, all we're going to do here is simply choose the videos that I've recorded. And I'm going to put that video into my movie, not going to do any editing, and I'm just going to export it back out in a smaller size. So uh, I'm going to find the video that I have that's too large. Maybe it's this one right here. And when I click on that, I'm going to tell it to create movie. If I had more than one video clip, I could select multiple video clips as one. Now, that's going to add it right here into my project. It's going to be right down here in my timeline. We're not going to do any editing, no titles, no music, any of that stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and hit done in the upper left hand corner. And now at the bottom, you're going to see a share arrow. When I hit the share arrow, this is going to let me choose how I want to share this video. Now, before I choose an option, there is a little tiny blue link here that says options underneath the title of that movie. I want to click on that options link, and this is where I want to change the resolution, which is the size of that video. By default, iMovie will take all of your video and export them in high def, assuming it was recorded in high def, which it probably was from your phone or your iPad. Um, but I can export it as a smaller size, like 720 or 540. Um, so if you want to try 720 first and see if that works better for you, and if not, you may have to export again at 540 until you figure out which one works best for you and your internet. Um, but once I choose a smaller size, I can now hit back and now choose how to share it. Now, I would recommend you tell it to save this video, which is going to save it back to your camera roll. So it's going to go through. It's going to export this entire movie. Once it's finished, it'll give you a message telling you, hey, this has been exported to your camera roll. And then now I can go and submit that picture or video again um, using Canvas, just making sure that I use the smaller new one that I just did, not the original. So if I click OK and I go back and look at my photo library, I will now see that video shows up as the last video in my library here. Here it is. This is the smaller version, still looks fine. And from here, I could choose to share this into Canvas or um, be able to go to Canvas and choose to attach it and upload it that way.